Can artificial rain solve Delhi's pollution problem? What is artificial rain? Is it safe? We will answer all these questions in this video. In an effort to combat the elevated air pollution levels in Delhi, the government is considering the use of cloud seeding to induce artificial rain this month. Environment Minister Gopal Rai held discussions with the team from IIT Kanpur on November 8th to investigate the possibility of introducing artificial rainfall in the city. After the meeting, Gopal Rai indicated that if the skies remain overcast on November 20th and 21st, Delhi could witness the implementation of artificial rainfall. China, having developed this technology earlier, had withheld sharing it with India. As a result, scientists at IIT Kanpur took it upon themselves to explore and develop the necessary expertise. The exact date and extent of seeding will depend on cloud formation. Scientists can, however, be ready within 24 hours of getting such a prediction. Now, this innovative approach aims to tackle the concerns related to the air quality index or the AQI in the capital. Artificial rain, also known as cloud seeding, is a weather modification technique that aims to increase precipitation by dispersing hygroscopic particles into clouds using aircraft or helicopters. Hygroscopic means they attract water. The greater the hygroscopicity of a particle, the more water it absorbs. Therefore, larger it grows, the more light it can scatter and the more likely it is to form a cloud droplet under the right conditions. These particles, often silver iodide, act as condensation nuclei, providing a surface for water droplets to form around. When enough droplets condense, they grow heavy enough to fall as rain. Cloud seeding can be used to augment natural precipitation in areas experiencing drought or water shortages. It can also be used to mitigate pollution by washing out pollutants from the atmosphere. For example, cloud seeding has been used to reduce smog in Los Angeles and to clear smoke from wildfires. Now let's talk about some other countries. China. China is the world's leading user of cloud seeding. The Chinese government has been sort of an enthusiastic proponent of this technology, spending billions of dollars on efforts to manipulate the weather to protect agricultural regions or to improve air quality before events, including the 2008 Olympics. Also, on 1st of July, the Chinese Communist Party marked its centenary with major celebrations, including tens of thousands of people at a ceremony uh, and a research paper from Tsinghua University has said an extensive cloud seeding operation in the hours prior ensured clear skies and low air pollution. So China, having developed this uh, technology earlier, as we told you, withheld it from India. That's why scientists from IIT Kanpur took it upon themselves to explore and develop this expertise. Now let's talk about the United States. The United States has been experimenting with cloud seeding since the 1940s. In 1946, artificial snow was brought down in the state of New York by Vincent Schaeffer. He was a researcher with General Electric and then experiments continued. The country has been experimenting with the technique to increase precipitation in agricultural areas such as the Midwestern state. Research in US shows it's cheaper to bring down rain than to undertake water-saving measures. The extra rainfall isn't just good for the crops, but with water levels in crucial reservoirs low, US hopes for a rain relief. Now, India hasn't been too big on using cloud seeding. In June this year, after years of dedicated efforts, scientists at IIT have successfully conducted a test of uh, artificial rain through cloud seeding. And now we will see if it can be the heaven's relief poured from the sky for the Delhi's pollution woes. Breathing the polluted air in Delhi is likened to smoking around 10 cigarettes a day as noted by medical experts. Vulnerable populations including children, the elderly and the individuals with pre-existing health conditions face heightened risks. However, cloud seeding is not without its limitations. It is only effective in certain types of clouds and it is difficult to control the amount of rain that it produces. Additionally, cloud seeding can have unintended consequences such as altering the timing 
or distribution of rainfall. Overall, artificial rain is a promising technology that has the potential to increase precipitation and to reduce pollution. However, more research is needed to fully understand its benefits, risks and limitations. The government is actively addressing the pollution situation by implementing measures like the odd even vehicle scheme, temporarily closing down schools, uh, and also following stage four of the Graded Response Action Plan or the GRAP. However, experts are cautioning that the situation may worsen during Diwali due to the use of firecrackers. Do tell us what you think about this video in the comment section and for more news updates, subscribe to India Today.